Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series troop building pack, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive, the Hand Ninja. So just like the scroll infiltrators that we took a look at yesterday, about yesterday, um, here we have the next one, which is the Hand Ninja. Hasbro Pulse has been shipping out the Scroll Infiltrators, the Hand Ninjas, and the Shield Agents, um, which mine shipped out of Georgia, so it takes a little bit longer to get to the West Coast. Um, so a lot of people have been getting all the Troop Builders. In fact, the Shield Agents and the Hand Ninjas actually went back up um, today for premium members. Uh, the Scrolls did not. Uh, looking at the Hand Ninja, it is essentially the exact same that we had gotten previously in the Stiltman Build-A-Figure Wave. Same accessories and all of that. We get a pair of uh, additional hands that comes with him. We get the two commas or sickles and then we have the sword um, included as well. Um, and then the figures are essentially the exact same. There is um, a tiny bit of paint differences uh, between the two and I would actually say that this army builder um, in fact actually has more paint apps than the regular release. Usually with an army builder pack because it is a less um, has a lower price point Usually we would get like less details and things like that. Where on this figure, we actually get more. So that's pretty crazy um, and exciting at the same time. So looking at the box, you can see it's just the plain box. You see the hand ninja. Um, when I was talking about the scroll infiltrator, I talked about how the box was like a super deep red. We're back to the kind of the faded red where it's not as prominent um, actually on the package here. Um, they do do a little special call that says Pack a plastic free packaging except tape and glue. So just like the scroll scroll infiltrators we got this wax paper that the hand ninjas came in and then in the separate wax paper bag we got the accessories uh, so that is it looking at the box not a whole lot going out going on with it there's a look at the back again these are Hasbro pulse exclusives sold out at the moment but you know keep taking a look on Fridays for their back in stock sale listings you never know what's gonna show up uh, but there's the hand ninja looking pretty good let's get in for a closer look and check out the details the sculpts are the exact same but again, a slightly more paint apps on this new one. Okay, so looking at the hand ninja here, it looks really good. You actually, We actually get red eyes this time around, whereas the other one had green eyes. So red eyes this time, and you can see the skin color is, skin color is kind of the undead um, look, whereas the other one had regular skin tone flesh. But here, you get kind of that zombie-like color, and that looks really good there. Paint apps look great. Um, in terms of the paint apps that I was talking about, is uh, you know having additional paint apps between the two different ones. So if you look at the strap here, um, <clears throat> we get the silver buckle on there. This is more of like a dark gray as opposed to a black on the red one. But see these bands right here by the Shurikens? They weren't painted on the regular release, so they were painted here. So that is pretty cool. The um, the hilt of the sword wasn't painted on the regular release either, but on the new one, we actually get a beige color for the sword there, and that looks pretty good. The swords are gonna be the same. If anything, we got maybe a little bit of a different silver paint on the regular release, but you gotta watch out, some of that paint kind of rubs off on its own, whereas this one's just kind of a dark uh, gunmetal plastic color. Oh, f focus. Like so, and that looks pretty good. Sheaths in nice and easy there. And then the regular release sheath is all black. So it's actually even less paint apps. There's nothing on there, whereas we get a little bit of that beige color on there. So um, really, that's going to be the only difference. But it's just interesting that more paint apps were applied to the one that en ends up actually being a little bit cheaper. And I don't know if it's the head that sits down a little bit different. But if you notice my hand edge, this head sits a little bit higher up. See how t much taller he's looking? It's because the head really doesn't come down as far as I really wish it would have this one looks much better looks way more natural and then the hood piece that's glued onto the head rests nice and <clears throat> easy on his <clears throat> his shoulders there whereas this one just seems a little too high so they made an improvement there so that is really cool uh, looking at the sickles here or the the commas excuse me commas just Japanese for sickle we get that nice gray plastic there and then the hilt or the handle of it is painted in that beige color and you get two of them they are the same these are the same weapons that came in the uh, red regular release so no different there we get a gray sash there gray gauntlets and then a little bit of that beige color wraps around the elbows there um, and then gray boots so he looks pretty good I love the black color inside shirt is the same dark gray that matches the mask and everything there. He looks fantastic. So now let's take a look at his articulation. 
Okay, so articulation for the hand ninja. So with the neck sitting so much lower on, um, or the head sitting so much lower on the neck, um, we get a couple of challenges that comes with it. So looking down is a little bit of a challenge. You can look down that much. Looking up eh, isn't really gonna happen, whereas the red ninja actually was much easier to get him to look down and get him to look up because there was room for that hinge to work. This guy, not so much, so that does kind of suck. Full rotation in there. Not a whole lot of pivot or anything like that. You get the shoulder to go straight out like so. Full rotation, of course. There is a butterfly joint in there so you can get the shoulder, the arm to go back that much. And then cross body a little bit like so. There is an upper bicep swivel in there. You get a double jointed elbow like so, a little bit more than 90 degrees. They are not pinless. Wrists swivel and they do hinge, horizontal hinge on the on the left hand. We get a vertical hinge on the right, perfect for using the sword, which is great. So this guy's articulation is a little bit different. So we have an uh, upper diaphragm joint, which could give you the swivel there. And then with that swivel, you also get a little bit of a pivot. So you can pivot to his left that much. It's not a whole lot, but it is there. You can pivot to the right a little bit as well. Going back, eh, somewhat coming forward a little bit as well. But then we actually have the inverted ab crunch. So if you work both of them in conjunction, you can get the hand ninja to bend forward that much. Still not as enough for a ninja, but it's better than nothing coming back in full uh, like so. <clears throat> The way the um, his gi, I guess it would be, there's a cut on the side to allow for a little bit of leg motion, cut on the other side as well. So just a heads up on that, that it is gonna limit somewhat, so you can't do a full splits or anything like that, but you can get the legs to come out that far apart. Kicking forward, it kind of comes out a little bit, but you can only kick forward that much. Leg goes back a little bit, actually. You have an upper thigh cut in there. You get a double jointed knee, like so. They are not pinless. Uh, you get a boot swivel right at the top of the boot, foot hinges down all the way, a little bit of hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Uh, so this this guy, he's going to have essentially the same movement, a little, little bit more limited in the neck, but I just think he looks a whole lot better in the black compared to the red. I mean, you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think between the two, but I'm really digging the black. You know, I'm going to keep the review short and sweet. That's it. As far as the comparisons, you know, um, red, uh, in now black instead of the red, gray where the dark red areas would have been. Uh, but a really sweet looking figure that I do like. The improvement of moving the head further down on the neck peg, I think was a good idea, a good idea even at the sacrifice of getting him to be able to look up. Um, I think it just looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, whereas this one he just has that look of huge long neck. Um, and I'm just really digging the overall black look compared to the red um, of the previous release. But you guys let me know down in the comments below, which do you prefer, the black n new hand ninja, the troop builder, or the red regular release? Um, I think it was a little bit easier to get the regular release, at, you know, solid cases through the online retailers, all of that. You were able to order quite a few. The awesome thing was is the build-a-figure part that this guy came with was the the extendable uh, legs for stilt man. So you could buy them up, keep buying hand hinges and you could just keep making your stilt man even taller um, so it didn't feel like a waste uh, same with this new hand ninja at the lower price point of being a troop builder that's always nice especially with price increases the way that they're going to be you know at this point with these being uh, what was it $17.99 I think um, you know, that was a good price. It was higher than the original $15.99 of the first Troop Builders. Um, but, you know, we expected prices to go up and stuff. And now we're probably going to see like $19.99 or $21.49 or something weird um, with the next price increase on any future Troop Builders, I'm sure. Uh, but I think this is a solid one. I think um, it's good. It's not as good as like the scrolls. I think the scrolls were definitely the better army building pack because you got two heads and you can do all kinds of really cool things. So if you got multiples, you can have the different heads or if you just use one of the heads, whoops, if you just use one of the heads, then you can use the additional scroll head onto like a different body. And that could be, you know, somebody that the scroll impersonated and took over. So there was some really cool things that you could do. Uh, but the true builders, hopefully they keep coming with more and more and more. Um, you guys let me know down in the comments below what other troop builders would you like to see uh, Marvel do I think the first immediate easy one is going to be um, 
uh, either Ultron drones or um, Kree soldiers or now well, that's probably those are the those are the main ones that come to mind. Um, so Kree, Ultron jo drones, um, and then you guys let me know if there's any others you think um, that Hasbro should do or what other ideas. First of all, they should probably re-release or produce some more Hellfire goons. Um, we shall see if that's going to be something that's going to be in the cards. But again, you guys let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see. Let me know what you think of this uh, new Hand Ninja uh, with the darker skin tone and the cool zombie look to him. I think that was a great, uh, nice touch, and I think it looks really good. The eyes are very menacing and kind of scary looking. Uh, but when you think of Ninja, you think dark colors and everything like that. So um, I'm really digging this new one. But you guys let me know down in the comments below which one you like more. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.